says I just added a T to the chimney at the top of the stove with a traditional cast damper plate. And that's that's exactly what I was thinking. So that's what I call an external bypass. And so those of you who, who are following along, basically, let's um I'll just use this. Imagine this box as your stove body. And your exhaust is typically going to come out of the bottom of your stove body, right? And go up. And so actually this is a really, I got a wonderful email from uh, Lubin, I think was his name in Bulgaria. Lubin, if you're, if you're watching, if you list, catch up on this, this is something that you could use for your bypass if you decided you ended up wanting to do one as well. So this is what I call an external bypass and this is what Manny did, I'm assuming. Here's his chimney coming up out of his stove. So when he's burning in his stove, the gases need to descend, they're getting cooled and then they enter the chimney and they go up and out and that works fine. But when the stove's cold, they're very cold when the gases get here and they're not going to be motivated to, to come out. So all you need to do is do what I call an external bypass. You can just put a T in the chimney up here. So the chimney is going this way. So here's your T. Here's the um, trunk of the T. And that then goes into your stove up high. And then you can put a damper in it right here, open and closed. So now when you light the stove, your gases can go out the damper and straight up the chimney. And in that way, you can do an external bypass without building the body of the stove any bigger. Your chimney still in the same location. You just add a T and another hole into the stove. So that's what I call an external bypass. It's a great simple solution um, to, uh, to just get yourself some startup time. Um, and as Manny says, he says, I'm losing a lot of heat out of the damper even when closed. So he may strap a piece of fiberboard to the damper. And <clears throat> That's always going to be an issue, Manny, especially with, um, you know, if you're using a, a commercial fireplace damper that's designed to go in six inch flue, they are always going to have holes all over them because they are required by code to not be able to completely close off the flue so that any carbon monoxide or, or residual flue gases can find their way out. So there's something called a blast gate uh, that's used in like, um, oh, big dust collection systems and, and air handlers and vacuum systems and things like that in industry. So look, you could Google the term blast gate. Uh, you could look up six inch blast gate. And a blast gate is just usually a round, uh, you know, flue pipe flange with a sliding gate in it. And those do give you pretty complete closure. Now, with all of that said, one thing about bypasses I've found over the years is that I don't feel that really um, hermetically sealed, uh, you know, a, a hermetically sealed damper is crucial because once the stove gets warm and everything's burning hot, the gases are going to prioritize towards the big open flue path, even if it's convoluted and all the way around. Um, there's going to be so much back pressure on those little holes in your bypass and such easy non-restricted flow once we have draft at the back end of it through the stove that the stove gases will prioritize flowing through the stove. Now, of course, that requires getting the stove warm. So if you're just bypassing for a single fire once in the morning, then the bypass is going to leak quite a bit of heat and you are losing some. So a piece of fiberboard is a good way to do that, Manny. You know what I found works really well is uh, the um, the wool, the, uh, you know, the more flexible, not stiff board, because it um, you can kind of wrap it around that whole damper um, and kind of wire it to it. And um, and it'll make sort of a soft, fluffy, you know, <laughs> a big a big fluffy muffin in there that that closes things off. Whereas the ceramic fiber board will do the same, but it kind of just wears away eventually. The 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 blanket will will stay there and and block things pretty well. So um, that's what I recommend. Um, tape up all the holes, obviously. So, um, but that's that. Yeah. So that's bypasses and.